everyone, welcome back to another episode of 100 Baby Challenge. We're now on episode 7 and we have 2, 4, 5 children. Hopefully that will be increased more. It's a challenge where there's one matriarch and they have to have 100 babies with 100 different partners. So I guess this one, we've got uh two toddlers we've got three children and we've obviously got mom so i'm looking forward to picking up the rest rest of them and to be honest i've just done the game update and it's been a bit of a pain um but i'm really liking the new build system i think it's quite awesome um, so in this case, um, at the minute, because I've got so many kids, they all would need baths and it's just stressful. So I'm just going to, I'm just going to get a shower, just a, a cheap shower that they can get in and out of and then get out of the bathroom because <laughs> they're, all, they're always wanting in at the exact same time and they just take forever and I really need to move that mailbox. I just seem to have haven't right now. So yeah, this bills and utilities is really cool. Like the layout is showing you what you're spending, what you're not, what you're saving on. But I think I think that's a really good, really good um, addition to the game. So I need to really to get everyone aged up, and I need Bailey to be a teenager realistically because I need some help, and we only have a hundred and. 30 and 9 simoleons left, which means we're in trouble in the case of how we're going to feed ourselves and having to be attentive to everybody's needs all the time. It's causing a bit of an issue to get money. So we're going to hopefully grow Bailey up so she can help out. Yeah, so our little Laurie, she's cute. She's cute as a button, really, isn't she? She just wears a mohawk. She just doesn't care. Mum needs to go back to bed. And uh, the siblings, the siblings are getting along, and they've got school in an hour, which is the eldest two twins, Lawrence and Laurie's first day of school. How exciting! So yeah, I'm going to get all these off to school and it'll give mum a little bit of a break because the twins can just get on with whatever they want to do realistically. Uh, he's like, mom, get out. He, sorry, she. <laughs> Laura's just like, mom, get out. I need the loo. And even though she needs the loo, she's just going to just gonna tip her off to school with a full bladder. I really miss it in, um, I think it's Sims 2, because I did bypass Sims 3, because um, I was at uni, and I would have failed if, <laughs> if, I, if I still played this. Um, yeah, in Sims 2, where they had, uh, they went to school, and they used the toilet, and got fed, but now they just come back worse as ever, and it's just so irritating. It's like, if they're going to go to school and eat at school, why not just allow that to happen? So, Miss Bubble, what's this? So, we're going to probably get confess to the mistake um, or turn it in. Uh, I, mm, what would I do? Mm. All right, so a few. Lawrence tells the teacher what happened and the teacher uh, tells him to transfer his answers on to the next one. Oh, I shouldn't have closed that. Yeah, so basically you did all right. Mum's now party training Dallas and we're going to get Joshua to just carry on. What's up, Chuck? Laurie got sick and threw up in the hallway in front of a bunch of other students. She was in with the nurse now. Do a thorough health check. Make sure she doesn't get teased or send her back to class. Uh, make sure she don't get teased. I think that's a good thing. Uh, so Joshua's communication is going off really well. He's nearly at level three. Um, Mum's just really tired. You can tell by the way she's walking around. So the twins are getting on really well. They just need toilet and sleep. Dallas is doing all right. Joshua's independent, so he 
just goes to the toilet whenever he wants. So we're going to look at getting him his other skills up. Uh, the house is absolutely filthy, so I'm going to help her clean up because it's not fair, really, is it? She's got so many kids and so much less time. It's not really fair. Uh, what else have we got? So we've got two, two, one, one, and one. Hmm. Well, they have just grown up, so they're not do they're not doing as well as really they should have they should be. Yeah, so go to the toilet, Joshua, and go to bed. Give them a bit of a break. Right, so Dallas is in bed, Joshua's still not going, even though I've told him to. Ah, there he is. Go party! There we go. Joshua acquired the party skill! Yay, Joshua! Now we all need to get you to level 3. Lance needs that looking too bad. Uh, we're just going to see what else. Dallas is really happy. He's just really tired. He's having fun whilst he's in bed. So he must be having some cool dre baby dreams. Bailey's just really tired as per usual. Thinks, <laughs> thinks school's getting her out a bit. Every everyone's tired. I still haven't got any beds. I need to make some money to get some beds for these kids. Bless them. They're going to have to sleep in mom's bed. So we're just going to have to share. Uh, so everyone's in bed. It's really nice and quiet for now until the kids come back soon. Let's see, it needs she needs some fun bladder. So, Bill's responsibility is in the range to earn the responsibility to it. And her grades are up. She's an A student. Amazing. We can grow her up. So I might just stick her to bed. Laurie and do, do, do. Lawrence are doing quite well, but. It was only the first day, so what do you expect? <sighs> My apologies, I do keep yawning. <laughs> so she's prepping for romance um, from the anticipated love day tomorrow. I don't know how well that's going to go. Um, see if any random dude just turns up at my door, that would be great. And then they can be my love day date. Because trying to get all these kids' needs to work out is just a handful in itself without adding more babies to the equation. Right, so Laurie, you can do your homework. And Laurie's a learner. She loves being on her own. She's kind of like me. Um, <laughs> she needs to do her homework, though, because we need to grow up. So you need to be an A student. So I'm just saying what kind of needs that they need. Mum's Faye's actually had a good night's rest. Just needs a toilet to get all the mail. So she collects everything from the mailbox. So hopefully we can just it's oh it's only two dolls, which is only two hundred and that. That's a bit naff. But yeah, we're going to get sorted and hopefully get Bailey growing up soon. We're just giving her a bit of a rest because she's going to have to go in full on second mother mode as soon as we leave. As soon as we leave, so, as soon as she grows up even. And then eventually she will leave, which I'm going to be a bit heartbroken about because she's our first baby with 100 babies. So we're going to, yeah, we'll just do that. That's fine. See what else. See if the twins want to wake up. Do the twins want to wake up? Yeah, the twins are going to babble. Get everything sorted. So, my game's lagging a bit, and this is from the update, and it's just ridiculous. It's so annoying when it does this. Like, it just lags so much, but, oh well. I guess this is the way it goes. So, I'm going to look into doing up the house as well, eventually, as the kids grow up, because they're going to need more, more space, eventually. 
and everyone's just being annoying. Everyone's just standing around. I don't understand why they're just standing around doing nothing. Like, go do something. Go make go make the cake. Like, it's just lagging. It just stresses me out. <laughs> I don't know if it actually stresses anybody else out when it does this. Um, because the game actually runs quite fine, and then all of a sudden it just starts lagging. It's just irritating. So I'm just going to make some food, going to make a cake. Laurie, you're not doing anything. You can take out the trash, girl. Time to be responsible. And the cake's ready to blow out the candles. Come on, Bailey. Time to blow out the candles, girl. Where is she? Come on. Get out of bed. Being lazy. She's like, Mom, it's my birthday. Leave me alone. Oh, the mom's singing, face singing for her. Oh, that's so sweet. She's like, finally, I can get on with my life. <laughs> I've got someone else to help. So here's the birthday girl. Happy birthday, Laurie. Not even Laurie, Bailey. <laughs> So she's already a child of the island, so let's see what she's going to be. She also wants to be a child of the ocean as well, so our girl is a Solani. Right, so I've picked, and the number is popularity. And she wants to be a jerk star, so she wants to be a comedian who lives at the beach in Solani. Oh, look at our absolute queen. Oh, isn't she pretty? She definitely looks like a mom. She's just like, quick selfie. Hey, girls. Birthday. So, yeah, now that she's a teenager, she is going to take over some of the chores around the house. So, I'm going to put some candles in there and put it back in. Let's see. I'm going to invite Carl over and he's on his way around. I'm so excited. This is like her little toy boy. She met him, um, was it the last episode? He just He's a young adult, the same age as Faye, but he just looks so young. And he's so cute. He's like, oh, he's like the love of her life. If they, they, they got on so well as soon as they met. And I think it's absolutely adorable how they act with each other. Maybe he could be like the man he mar she marries when she gets older. Because look, he's so cute. He's just so baby face as well. This is why we call him the toy boy. Because chances are he's probably really <laughs> much younger than her. Well, for the for the sake of this story, she, he's going to be a bit younger than her, so we're going to call him the toy boy, which is really sweet. Oh, I really like Carl. Let's have some babies with Carl. Add him to the 100 baby journey. So meanwhile, uh, Bailey is just getting on with life, and she's kind of like taking the role from the toddlers as well when mum seduces this gentleman. So Bailey kind of has now understood what her mum does and is planning on doing. Um, Lucky for Bailey, she's like, yeah, I don't need to do this. Uh, I'm not going to be the next heir, so I'm okay, thanks. <laughs> and no one's put their birthday cake away yet. <sighs> What's this add to favourites? That's really cool. So he's done his homework. Uh, she can go to sleep. The toddlers are just hyperactive, as always. They haven't been giving me a lot of jip like the rest of them have. So, yeah, we're going to get all of them done. Everyone's quite happy. Yeah, so we're making another baby. And all the kids are like, ugh, mom, really? Another one, do we have to? So, I can't, we're going we're gonna to do it again. 
It says the chance of twins because I had um when I built this house it didn't come with any traits, so it have to has to do it. So he's gonna she's gonna go for a shower while he cleans out the toilet. Like how absolute sweetheart is he? We're I think we're gonna marry this guy. Like he's so cute. I'll marry him eventually. He, she's non she's a commitment for at the minute. She's not ready to commit to anybody. This is why she was like perfect for the hundred baby challenge. He's just like, I'll just look away, it's okay, even though I've seen you naked. It's absolutely fine. But, and she's like, mm hmm do you want to go back to bed? <laughs> Meanwhile, all the kids are like, mm, what is going on here? What is happening? And the kids are having issues with a monster under the bed yet again. This monster under the bed is a drive mean saying. So I usually have my MCC um, installed and usually it's like, oh no, it's okay. But no, no, no. This time he's just bugging my kids out. My kids are a load of wusses that are scared of somebody, of, of that weird alien thing that lives under. And it's just, it's just annoying. There's no point in it. So we haven't checked if she's pregnant or not, so let's just do that. Oh, Laurie, get out of the bathroom. This is the thing in my, this household's bathroom as well. They all, they just live in there like, no, I want to be near. It's like, nope, out, out of here now. I want to know if I have another baby. Oh, Laurie, get out. Oh, well, that was helpful. So it's love day, but Carl's gone. Why couldn't he stay for love day? Ugh. No, stop playing with that. Let's see if you're pregnant. No, they're not doing as I say. This is stressing me out. They're not doing what I say. So school is starting in an hour, which is awesome. See you later. Get to school. So when I grow up, I want to be a ninja. What do I need to? What do I need to now to start getting ready to be a ninja when I grow up? Start practicing your hiding. No. Ah, I just clicked for it anyway. So all the kids need to be going to school. Off you go now, off you go. No, no one wants to listen to me? Oh, look, the, bo the boys are off to school. Lawrence went to school. Everyone else has just completely forgotten, apparently. And is she pregnant? Is she pregnant? Oh, she is. Why didn't that come up? Oh, my goodness. That's annoying. So she just walks there. She's like, Mom, get out. She's like, no, you get out. It's like, no. <laughs> they always do the embarrassing thing. It's like, mm -hmm. okay, then. Exchanging secret love day card. For love day, Lauren decided to, ha uh, to handcraft a card for their crush to compete with the pipe clean hearts, glitter, flowers, and dinosaurs. Because who doesn't love dinosaurs? Lawrence just needed to decide if he should let it slip that it was him who made the card or secretly drop it in their cubby. Oh, I think it should uh, secretly drop the card. Lawrence's crunch didn't even know he existed. He was an... There was an opportunity to change that. Lawrence bypassed the cubby in the favour of the hand delivery. Unfortunately, he wasn't able to find his crush on the playground. 
by the time Lawrence gave it all the crush on school flower fundraiser in honor of love day laura's school always allows students to buy flowers delivered to each other during class with some money to spend laurie decides to take advantage of the fundraiser and celebrate the holiday or oh, buy everyone flowers in class yeah laura decides to surprise everyone in the entire class of flowers while in math each flower was hand delivered taking enough time to get out of the test now that is my child <laughs> anything to get out of the test so everyone's just chilling we are getting there everyone can go for, you can go for a shower what's going on here Toddlers are do and then you can go to bed afterwards. You are absolutely shattered, my dear. You're so tired. It's alright though, we've got we've got this. We've absolutely got this. It's fine. So the twins are really happy. Like it's just so happy. Joshua's just like, yeah. So we're just going to play around for a little bit, see what happens. For a little bit, see what happens. Oh no, Dallas has woken Mama. Oh dear, and she's not feeling very well either. Oh, poor Faye. If that was my kid, I'd probably be like, no, go away, go, go, deal, go wake up your older sister. <laughs> uh, gonna get some food. What else have we got to do today? Everybody's really angry being at school. Bailey's just growing up, so she doesn't have to go to school. Uh, party number two. Yeah, so mom's gonna just leave him on the potty and go to sleep. He's just really angry. What? I don't know what's wrong. Don't want to from being defiant. Ugh. Aren't my aren't these kids always defiant? Honestly, I've not had one child where they're not defiant, where they're just really like happy and do whatever I say. No. So grades are up. Lawrence is a B student. Uh, and Laurie's a C student, so Laurie hasn't been doing very well in school. So I'm just going to put him into bed with mum and uh, let him get some naps in and things like that. Like get, get their needs up because they're they just look a bit stressed. They do look really, really stressed, which isn't really, isn't really that good. So I'm going to try and get some of the needs up. Bailey just looks absolutely miserable. Even though, like, she's actually doing all right. The twins are in a pretty good mood. Dallas is asleep. So we're going to concentrate on um, Joshua's imagination. Hopefully they'll be growing up in the next episode because I just can't deal with toddlers. <laughs> not these, not this many anyway. <laughs> uh, one, or, one or two is fine. Oh, he's reached imagination level three. Right. Barzy, what's going on? Yeah, so let's work on something else. So you've got three communication. Uh, yeah, so let's get Bailey on some teaching. Come Bailey, do your job. You're a teenager now. You're the second mother in the house. I'm afraid. Sorry. Yeah, not not really. That sorry. So yeah, let's get let's get her saw and let's get mum painting. Let's go back to her first passion before she had a lot of children. Oh, she really loved to paint back in the day. And now she's doing it again. And we can earn some money and then extend the house because oh, it's so tiny. Especially for like, that many people living there now. So what's going on, everyone's getting better bailey's like one two three yeah joshua ain't having any of it dominic cafe no no go away i haven't got the time so 
So let's do this, teach talk. Yeah, let's get to paint it and see what she draws. Hopefully she draws like a masterpiece so we can get some real money coming through. Oh, Bailey's playing with her brother. How cute. Oh, such good siblings. Oh, the older siblings are so good to the younger siblings. Oh my god, look at what Faye's painted. That's that's amazing. Wow. So we're gonna sell that and get a bit more money. How much did that make? Fifty seven oh fifty seven dollars, come on. Smileyans even. Alright, we're gonna let's see. Are we gonna buy a bed? Shall we buy a bed? Mm, I think we should buy a bed. So we're gonna buy the kids another bed because they need somewhere to sleep. The cat just keeps sleeping in mom's bed because it ends up in right disaster. So that's what we're gonna do. Just gonna buy some simple cheap beds. And they can go sleep in there. Move that out of the way. There you go, you all have your own beds, kids. That's a bed that was a first. <laughs> well, it is a first to be honest. They don't they've never really had their own beds apart from the toddlers. And when they were in bassinets. But yeah, so I've got mum painting another figure. Bailey is going back to bed because that's all she ever does. She, all she ever does is sleep. Uh, what else have we got to do? Well, we're back to we're back down to 170 simoleons, so this better make some money because it looks so beautiful. And we haven't. I've just noticed that we haven't celebrated Love Day either. So that's gone out of the bag because it's nearly 2 a.m. So maybe next year. Maybe, maybe next year. Oh my goodness, that is absolutely stunning. She's so good. All right, so she is pregnant. So she's still in her first trimester. She's really, like, just getting there. And then Love Day was awful. Yep. Oh well, it's always next year. Uh, so let's get. Oh, we've got an angry baby as per usual. And who's this? Someone just random. Okay, well, everyone's gone to bed apart from Dallas because he's hungry. So I'm going to get him some food and send him off to bed. Uh, maybe get him to go to the toilet. Oh, he's got full energy as well. Damn. Uh, get him to go to the toilet and then go play and get his stuff off. Get his um, skills up. That's what we need. His skills up so he can grow up. If he go, don't fall. Oh, and the other one's up. Joshua's up and he really needs to go to the toilet. But he's favoured food for some reason. Oh, no, wait. That's still Dallas. <laughs> so it's on pile of another two. So we've got two, one, two, three. Okay, so we're not getting that. We're not doing that bad. We're getting there. We'll get, we're getting quicker. And the child stinks. So he needs a bath. Let's give these kids a bath. And she really needs a toilet as well. Hey, at least she could. She actually got on the toilet this time instead of uh, peeing next to it. Like she always does. So all the siblings are getting along. The bath is filthy, but we're still going to stick the kids in it anyway. She needs a shower as well. So let's go. Let's stop you from playing that. Let's get out of the shower. I've just told you to bathe your child, not bathe your children, because they stink. I she still don't listen to me. <laughs> anyway guys, I'm gonna leave it here. Um, yeah, hopefully we'll have more birthdays next week. We've got one teenager, which is awesome. And yeah, 
uh, give the videos a cheeky thumbs up and subscribe to see more.